guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're wondering why I'm so dressed up, it's because I have lots of job interviews today and I had to look good and I've got a job interview after this. So, I wanted to get this video done because I wanted to keep pumping out videos. 2019, still no CPM and our last video got demonetized before YouTube manually reviewed it. So thank you YouTube for realizing that I was not actually swearing in the video. Okay guys, so today we are gonna be on Reddit and I actually asked and I did a poll on my Instagram but nobody likes me so um, nobody sent me any unpopular opinions except for Savannah. <sighs> it's okay. I'll be fine. So uh, we got a bunch of little unpopular opinions that I want to go over today. These are just my opinions. I want to preface that. If you don't agree with me, don't attack me in the comments. I just wanted to go over these because it's my opinion. Uh, if you have a different opinion or you like have a different take of even like the opinion that I have, just comment it down below and you know, we can have a discussion if you want to, uh, but just be cordial about it. Like don't attack me just because you don't agree guys but without further ado let's get right into the video so the first one we got is of course from savannah i had to include her first she said popcorn is gross now i know that she doesn't like regular popcorn like she doesn't like movie popcorn every now and then she'll have it just because like if she's really hungry um then she'll have like a few little bits of popcorn but she won't have like she won't share a bag of popcorn with me at the movies is what i'm trying to say um you know what i i don't agree with this I I actually really really like popcorn I like movie popcorn um but you know what that's fine like you're allowed to be wrong oh no um no but she actually she likes like caramel popcorn so it is a little bit different but like regular popcorn she just like hasn't liked it for a very very long time so I understand that uh I just I don't necessarily agree so the next one we got is you're not obligated to care about the people that you're not blood related to now, Savannah and I talked about this yesterday. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. They actually gave some interesting reason as to why they said it was the way they did. Um, we had a long discussion about this one because I said, I agree, but I like, I agree, but I'm not like that. So it's interesting because they said you're not obligated to it. Obviously, you're not obligated to care about people that aren't blood related to you. So what that meant to me was like, it, just because somebody's like injured or something, and even if you're, they're your best friend, you're technically not obligated to, but as humans, we naturally go and help people and we care about people just because we're human and we have those emotions. So that's, that's kind of the point that I was trying to convey. And I, I said that to her and I think she ended up agreeing with me just because like, you're not technically obligated to, we're just good people who do because we're good people. And there's a lot of people that just are, would agree with this completely and be like, yeah, I don't, I don't really care about anybody at all regardless of whether or not they're blood related so i think it goes both ways and i understand what the message is they're trying to convey from it um i just i care about people who aren't blood related to me but that's just who i am as a person and next one we got is being born attractive is the biggest privilege in the world so you know savannah and i actually went back and forth with this one again we kind of went over all of these last night trying to get the a discussion going between us so i could talk about it um i agree with this actually because i said and she said, oh, well, being born into money is the biggest uh, advantage that you can have. So, like, I understand that, but just because you have money doesn't mean you're attractive, but being attractive has a better chance of you getting into money. Now, whether that being marrying into money or doing modeling and stuff like that, being attractive doesn't mean you have to be the smartest knife in the drawer, but if you have money, I understand you could just be set for life and everything, but at the same time, at like at, at some point, the money could run out, but nine times out of 10, the attractiveness isn't gonna run out. That was kind of my take on it. And I also said like, it's way easier for people who who are attractive to get into relationships and be successful for like stuff that they don't even have to be talented or smart to do and not to say that they aren't smart or talented but there are a huge majority of like instagram models and stuff like that and like i'm i'm grouping but you understand what i mean like that stereotype of they could just be brain dead but they're still gorgeous and they're still they're still able to do stuff and create a living out of that without necessarily trying they're just given an opportunity because they're pretty and just because you have money doesn't mean you're going to be pretty now this one this one's an interesting one so it's eating cereal with water 
is better than eating cereal with milk. I will 100,000% disagree with this because I will also never try it. I am not a psychopath. I'm never, uh, even when there's too much milk in like your cereal and your like Cheerios or whatever cereal does gets like soggy. Ugh, it's disgusting. I gotta have that like nice crunch, mushy mix. Like, ah, uh, but like water, no, no, I need some extra flavor. No, not water, not water. I can't. I totally disagree with this. No, but this is so many upvotes on Reddit. It's insane. <laughs> like, I can't believe people agree with this. I couldn't do it. I cannot do it. I totally disagree. This over. It's done. Now, this was an interesting one as well. So it's stop making uh, obese fats, uh, obese pets funny. Your cat is not a chunk or your cat is dying. You know what? I, I do agree with this. Like... <sighs> It's like saying the same thing with people. Like it's not, I understand there's like health conditions and stuff that like sometimes you actually can't control how your body reacts to like the foods and stuff that you're eating. But like if you're overfeeding like your pets, that'd be like overfeeding a human and assuming that they're just going to be fine. Like there's medical repercussions that go along with that. And especially with animals like dogs and cats, like they can have serious like limb issues and they aren't able to walk properly and then it just keeps getting worse and worse and you actually end up like like they said like that's what happens to fish as well like fish you dump a, a thing of of food into a fish tank and if it's too much for the fish to consume the fish will just die like within an, within the day the fish will die because you've given the, the fish the opportunity to eat that much food when it physically can't consume that much food so i i do agree with this and like i we keep our dogs very very healthy like we joke about them being a little chubby every now and then if they like uh when my dog muffin got like his surgery on his like one of his legs or whichever one it was at the time but he got a little heavier because we weren't walking him as much as we usually do we didn't change and like feed him more and everything like that it just wasn't walking as much we try to keep our pets as healthy as possible and that's the smart thing to do like and, and if you can't physically do that let them out in the back as much as possible if you can't like you can't keep your pets like obese like you gotta make sure that they're well fed but also exercise well like if they're obese you, you really are just killing them so you know what i agree with this one and i don't, I don't think it's totally a unpopular opinion but a lot of people like find obese pets kind of funny now this one this is a long one you know what i i had this discussion i'm gonna so it's interesting so i had this debate with savannah as well i said men it says men face a more unrealistic standard of beauty than women they just don't complain about it and i went back and forth with her about this uh and it kind of got brought up in a separate unpopular opinion of like um women uh beauty standards for women aren't set by men they're set by other women and we had that discussion as well and it kind of ties into this of like men do face an unrealistic beauty standard and so do women like i totally agree because you compare yourself for men like brad pitt and ryan reynolds and all those like like chris pratt and all those guys who are very very attractive very successful all those things um and it's interesting because the way they the way they preface it is men just don't complain about it and i think that goes with a lot of things because it's like protecting your masculinity by com by not complaining about it and i think that goes back to a lot of other topics that i don't i don't really want to discuss on here but it goes back to like men just being stubborn and not having conversations about it now if men had conversations about it maybe it would become more like less Un, like less unrealistic and we it would be more closely related so there's so many different things like height is a huge factor uh and of course height's a factor with women as well like it, it, if you take it as like a single and dating scene and such and then there's like the weight aspect to it as well and then there's like you expect every guy to be like shredded and stuff and of course like there's the movement of like the dad bod and like 2018 2019 and everything but then there's also like the obvious like there's other features that you just you can't control at the same time um and uh, if you understand what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about when i say that uh but i i understand the point and i i do kind of a, i feel like there's a few very minute details that become the more unrealistic standard for beauty that men have over women. And I understand that just men just don't complain about it. 
Um, it, it's an interesting topic to discussion. So I, I, I do, I do agree with this. Uh, and like I said, it is like the protection of masculinity that men have that say like, oh, well, I'm not going to complain about it because like, why would I complain about it kind of thing. Uh, the next one we got is high school is not the best time of your life. Now, I do agree with this and like some people will say, oh, well, high school is so awesome and I have so much fun at high school. And you know what? As soon as you take your first step into university, trust me, it is so much better. And even better than that is having a full-time job after university and college. Like, it's so much better. And I, I can just speak from even a little bit of experience of like having a full-time job even during the summer. It's so much better than even just being in school is. And like, if, if university and college are the best years of your life, then you're seriously you hit your peak way too early. Because you, like at that point, you really haven't experienced a lot. Like you haven't experienced enough to make a decision that says like, this has been the best. Like you don't have enough. If you, if you when you're 80 or 85 and you're like, look back, you say, you know what? The best years of my life were during high school. Then that's okay. But you can't make that decision while you're in high school. Like it's just, you haven't had enough life experience to like actually make that opinion on like what's happening in your life. That's my personal opinion, but uh, I don't know. University is so much better than high school and just life in general after university sounds so much better. Our final one. I like the smell of cigarette smoke. You know what? Cigarette smoke actually gives me like, and has given me very, very bad headaches since a very young age. I will never pick up a cigarette. Like I would never smoke a cigarette. It's disgusting. I, I, I totally disagree with that. Um, um, you know, I was joking with Savannah about this. Like, I, I actually like the smell of gas. I, I don't mind the smell of gas at all. People joke about that because, like, the there, there's some people that actually choose to get, like, high and stuff off gas, which is really, really messed up. But at the same time, I don't mind the smell of gas. I cannot stand the smell of cigarettes. Um, that's my personal opinion. If you like it, then uh, that's up to you as well. But, like, I, I just don't like the smell of cigarettes at all. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I just did another, uh... Uh, it was like uh, reacting to reddit I guess I'm gonna call it r slash unpopular I had a lot of fun making this video if you did enjoy the video make sure you like subscribe and have fun guys bring it up to CPM with every single video that I do and hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize this because that would make no sense there was nothing wrong with this video Whew. hope you guys enjoy the video peace <laughs>